In Bruce Timm's DC Animated Universe, Batman went through a remarkable evolution, becoming one of the most iconic and enduring interpretations of the character of all time. Spanning several animated series, including Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, Batman Beyond, and a few movies. This cohesive universe brought Batman to life in a way that captivated both longtime fans and newcomers to the character. In today's video, we'll be making our way through the canonical timeline and evolution of the DC animated version of Batman in the Betash universe. Also, at the end of the video, I will give you the canonical, chronological watch order, so stick around to see that. Let's get into it. Now, I'm gonna have to take sections out of certain movies and episodes to make any sense of this timeline, so it may get a little confusing. Stick with me. We start with a part of The Mask of the Phantasm. In this movie, we get flashbacks of Bruce's early days fighting crime. He doesn't yet have a bat suit, no cape, no cowl, not even gadgets or a cool car. He's far from the Batman we all know. He's more of an idea. The biggest issue for him is they don't fear him. So, after some thinking and even more personal tragedies, Batman as we know is born. And it's an iconic moment. From here we go to the show that started it all, Batman the Animated Series Season 1. In this, there isn't a great deal of overarching storytelling, and nearly every episode, apart from the odd two-parter, is a story in itself. So even watching them completely out of order, it doesn't really matter. But here we have a seasoned Batman, one who isn't fumbling around and making any mistakes. He is calculated, intelligent, and terrifying. Then, canonically, I would suggest going back to the full story of the Mask of the Phantasm, as obviously the earlier entry was just a flashback from within this film's story. To be honest, it's hard to pinpoint when exactly Mask of the Phantasm takes place in the BTAS chronology. But the film works fine as something that happens in between seasons 1 and 2 of the show. So following his reunion with Andrea, Batman resumes his role as the Dark Knight in Batman the Animated Series season 1 and 2, which should be watched next if viewing the Batman animated story in chronological order. Similar to the first season, the show maintains its episodic structure, allowing viewers to enjoy individual episodes without worrying too much about the exact chronology. It is worth mentioning that while some categorise Batman the Animated Series into two seasons, most streaming platforms and Blu-ray releases divide the episodes into three seasons, with the new adventures of Batman serving as the fourth season. The next one to watch would be the Mr. Freeze movie. Here the animated Batman movie continues the highly praised Batman the Animated Series Mr. Freeze story, which reinvented the character by giving him a tragic backstory and sympathetic motives. Now to continue Batman's story, we must head away from Batman content. The success of the show and its spin-off movies meant the creation of a new show set in the same universe, in the same style, Superman the Animated Adventures. Now while most watch order lists will put down seasons 1 and 2 of this show, you don't need to actually watch all of it just for Batman. In fact, the three episodes that featured Batman were released into a little movie, nicknamed Batman Superman Movie World's Finest. Following on from this, we move into the new Batman Adventures, which many people just refer to as BTAS Season 4. Now, while a slightly different look splits the two, the essence is exactly the same. The biggest change is the show features a lot more of Robin. Season 3 Episode 2 and Season 4 Episode 1 of Superman also feature Batman, so this is a good point to slip those in. Batman Mystery of the Batwoman would be next. This animated film takes place far in the future in the new Batman Adventures timeline, when watching Batman the animated movies in order. It has Barbara Gordon living outside of Batman's Gotham City for college. It also has the first entry in the DCAU to suggest that Bruce Wayne and Barbara had a relationship. By far one of Bruce Timm's most controversial and criticised creative decisions. This same concept was actually carried over into the animated adaption of The Killing Joke. Next up would be the show that really opened up this universe, introducing many other iconic characters. The Justice League. Though the first season of the show didn't have too much Batman, as he stubbornly refused to join the League. But he did make a few appearances as, let's be honest, the League is nothing without Batman. A joke, of course. Sort of. Next would be Static Shock. That took a while to start bringing itself into the expanded universe. If we are just looking for Batman episodes, try Season 2, Episode 1, Season 3, Episode 1, then Episodes 6, 7, and 13 of Season 3. Then, 
episodes 1 and 4 of season 4. Justice League Unlimited would then follow on from where Justice League left off, however on a much larger scale. Oh, and with a lot more Batman. One of the best shows in this entire list in my opinion. Now, technically the 2017 movie Batman and Harley Quinn, which I have to say I did not enjoy, takes place partway through Justice League Unlimited. Only evidence for this is Booster Gold mentioning something about an extended league, so I'm putting this just after Season 1 of JLU. Next we go into Seasons 2 and 3 of JLU, although you have to leave Season 2 Episode 13 out for now. Following on from Justice League Unlimited is the Justice League vs Fatal 5 movie. This movie is the most recently released, at least at the time of making this video, and is actually a really fun addition. So now it's time to head into the future. Episode 1 of Batman Beyond. We see an old Bruce Wayne on the edge of retirement, with a new suit that he has developed to try and take the strain away from his aging body. But he's just too old, so he passes the mantle on to Terry McGuinness. If you want to continue that story even without Bruce Wayne as Batman, then finish Season 1 and 2 of Beyond, then check out Episode 8 of The Zeta Project, before finishing Season 3 of Beyond. Then the final chronological movie in the Bruce Tim verse, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. This movie features the return of a much older Joker, and a fearful Bruce Wayne, who tries to stop Terry from facing the Joker, revealing a twisted incident from the past. Great movie. Then finally, the latest moment we ever see in any of this universe is that Justice League Unlimited episode that I mentioned leaving out earlier, Season 2, Episode 13, Epilogue. It ties together and continued some plot points from Batman Beyond, and also serves as a true finale or conclusion to that series. This episode focuses around Batman revealing a dark secret. The episode ends with a heartwarming scene between Terry and an old Bruce, providing fans with an actual ending to the Timverse story. So let's summarise that chronological watch order. We have the flashback sequence from The Mask of the Phantasm, Season 1 of Batman the Animated Series, the present day story from Mask of the Phantasm, Seasons 2 and 3 of Batman the Animated Series, the Mr. Freeze movie, Batman Superman World's Finest, the new Batman Adventures, Season 3 Episode 2 and Season 4 Episode 1 of Superman, The Mystery of the Batwoman, The Justice League, Static Shock, Justice League Unlimited Season 1, Batman and Harley Quinn, Justice League Unlimited Seasons 2 and 3, but leaving out the epilogue, Justice League vs Fatal 5, Batman Beyond Season 1 and 2, Episode 8 of The Zeta Project, Batman Beyond Season 3, Return of the Joker, and finally Justice League Unlimited Epilogue. Overall, Bruce Timm's DC Animated Universe provided an expansive and rich portrayal of Batman, elevating the character to new heights and solidifying his place as one of the most iconic superheroes in popular culture history. It beautifully captured the essence of Batman, showcasing his strength, intelligence and unwavering determination to protect Gotham City from the forces of evil. And that's it my friends, I really hope this video helped you understand how to best watch these movies and episodes to get the full experience. If you have any questions or even disagreements, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, what is your favourite entry on this list? Pick one individual movie or episode and let me know down below. I may even do a video on the most popular answer. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you have a great day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and return to the Batcave for more Bat content.